playing with physics. Physics is all around you. Pendulums. Centripetal force. Defying gravity. Friction. In this episode of Playing with Physics, Work Hard, Play Hard, we will be uncovering physics behind how much work it takes to travel across monkey bars. Work is defined by the equation work equals force times distance times cosine of theta. Force is defined by the equation mass times acceleration. One? What? Cosine theta equals one because the magnitude of work done and the direction in which Connor traveled creates an angle of zero degrees. Therefore, cosine of zero equals one. Connor traveled 4 meters across the monkey bars in 9 seconds. Acceleration is defined by distance over time squared. To find Connor's acceleration, we derive the equation for the change in distance, or delta d, by multiplying by 2, then dividing the whole equation by the change in time squared, or delta t squared. 2 times 4 is 8, divided by 9 squared, or 81, is 0 0.1. Connor's acceleration is 0.1 meter per second squared. Connor weighs 54.4 kilograms. So now we have work equals 54.4 kilograms times 0.1 meters per second squared times 4 meters times 1. Force equals 5 newtons. A newton is kilograms times meters per second squared. Force times the distance of 4 meters times 1 equals 20 joules for a joule is a newton meter. Connor works 20 joules worth to get across the monkey bars.